Cairngorms are the largest patch of true wilderness left in the UK. A place full of desolate beauty, where life, despite the harsh nature of the elements, thrives. My friend and I are on a mission to hike from Aviemore to Braemar, on a hiking route known as the Larrick Gru. We are out here to get away from it all and to reconnect with what our hearts truly desire. Nature. Finally got off the train in Aviemore after nearly 10 hours of gruelling hell. Fuck you, LNER. Um, <laughs> we've got about an hour's hike ahead of us. It's going to be dark by the time we pitch, so I'll probably see you in the morning. <laughs> so we just walked about a mile and a half past the first waypoints on our walk. So far, so good. And we're now truly in the wild. There are Viking approaches. <laughs> got fucking eaten alive, alive man. the second we got here. Uh, but we made it. Fingers crossed tomorrow is a little bit cheerier. So this is the first night out on the trail. And I'm not gonna lie, I could definitely do with a little bit more space in here. We ended up pitching somewhere around here so I mean we made pretty good progress from the station and I think in the morning we're going to try and get around here and make brekkie and continue on for now I'm gonna get some shut eye good morning good morning <laughs> had a few drips in the night but for the most part slept pretty well Lou's getting the water on. I think we're going to try and make some coffees, pack up the tents and get out of here before the midges start eating us again. Yeah, not a bad first night. I'm just on our way to make, make some breakfast somewhere. Walking through these beautiful woods of Rothy Marcus, Mercus, I don't know how you pronounce it to be honest. Both a bit tired, but also really excited. Today is the first real day, so I guess, see how it goes, we might have to change our plans slightly. Um, so far so good. Basically, Jordan's crunching that. First time with the new stone. Quite excited to try these expedition breakfasts. Excited and terrified.
meaty breakfast actually. Pretty decent size. I don't know if I'll be able to eat all of that. I'm only a wee man. Mm, might be a very soggy breakfast. Time to give this a go. Mm. Kind of looks like porridge, but it's got it's like porridge with raisins and banana flakes. It's actually surprisingly nice. A bit warm still, so it does bit weird having a, a warm cereal but at the same time it tastes more like porridge so yeah, not bad so we're just here I think where we've crossed the river just finished our brekkie Lewis is packing the rest of his stuff away and we'll see if we can bust out a decent portion of this walk. I reckon we've got about half an hour of walking through the forest left until we reach the mountains. We're finally coming to the end of the forest now. Um, poor old Lewis, he's got a hefty backpack. He's doing well though, he's not moaning at all. So hopefully, hopefully we just crack on, we'll make good time. We've bumped into a couple of people on the trail today already, which, yeah, they seem fine, they seem nice enough, but it's a bit frustrating because you come out here to get away from people. <laughs> um, we went for the overtake, we've tried to put some distance between us. Uh, but every time we rest for a few minutes we'll put our bags down we see them on the horizon so uh, I think we might just let them go ahead in a bit they're aiming to get to Braemar by the end of today which is about 25 miles um, whereas we're only aiming to go another six or seven it's only 10 o'clock in the morning at the moment we've done we got up really early we've done bloody well yeah, we want to want to start the descent into the actual valley. Lerigri. Apologies for the butchering of the pronunciation. Um, then yeah, there's a bothy somewhere on the on our right hand side when we get into it, I believe. Lewis was telling me about it. So I think we're going to try and make camp there tonight and just relax. Uh, yeah. Ciao for now. The... You're right. Yeah. 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 I hope the camera can see that little rainbow on the horizon. I think we're actually higher up than the rainbow. Stop for a quick bite to eat. We let the other people overtake us. Gonna give them about half an hour's distance and then hopefully we won't see them again. <laughs> <laughs> Just go get a coffee. <laughs> nearly 12 o'clock now. We're both nearly out of water. So, it's looking for a stream. Getting a bit sketchy because it seems like everything around here is a bit dry. You can see on the ground where the sediment is, so water definitely flows through here, but not today. 
Huzzah! <laughs> we found water. We're not going to die today. Well, touch wood. We fucking jinx it now. It's a gorgeous day though. No complaints here. I think we're going to try and find the source of this. Collect a bit of that. It looks good. I know looks are obviously deceiving. But I'm a desperate man. Hopefully it's a bit cleaner. Hopefully it's a gorgeous little rock pool and it's all lovely and filtered. But I doubt it. Have to get what they must have there, they've Well, like the thing in James Bond, that big inflatable puffer ball thing. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I'm chat shit. Along those top lines, anything that's super compressed, oh, it weighs, it'll pop up into something big. Hello, froggy. We got ourselves a creature. A creature. Hello. Oh, oh it's a big one. It's yeah. a small one way back there. I think it's a toad actually. Ooh, hoppy hoppy. On on your way, lad. You say you saw another one? We just trekked across how many miles would you say of pure shit? 80. 80 miles of pure shit. Well, we finally reached the landmark. We got Cairn Tool. I think that's Cairn Tool. What did it say on the map? I don't know. Cairn all the way on the right. And then Ben McDo, I guess, will be just around the bend on the left. Oh. Reckon we go for what, another 20, 30 minutes and then try and pitch up? Fuck an eye. Get a helicopter ride out of here tomorrow. Just trying to figure out where on the map we are, but I think. That's got to be that, the very distant peak is definitely Cairn Tool. I can't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the other one. But we're somewhere around, well, I think we are pretty much on the slopes of Ben McDew. intrigued as to why why that bit of rock there is a different colour. Oh, another mystery.
treated some pretty impressive views of Cairns for all at the minute. Well, you're not, you're looking at the sky. There we go. Uh, it looks quite foreboding up with the peak all shrouded in cloud. Oh. Drone up. Let's see what I can see. It's been quite handy so far. <laughs> Used it to scout out the path ahead a few times. It wasn't necessarily necessary, but I went to the trouble of bringing it all this way. Might as well bloody use it. Oh, this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, we're both really sore today both struggling to, to keep the move on I think but this is what we do for you know oh. reconnect with nature I'm quite happy, quite happy around here to be honest. Then we're going to try and find somewhere good to pitch up, get some grub, have a damn ski. surprisingly good. We're gonna have some hot chocky now. I'm just getting some water. Boil this off. No bits in it whatsoever so that's good. Yeah. I, uh, I think we're gonna struggle tonight. We're gonna push our tents to their limit with this wind and the rain but fingers crossed they hold up we've got a really nice little crater that we're sheltered in for cooking and it's working a treat and then every time you walk back up to the tent you're just reminded of that beauty so can't complain too much but yeah walking out considering it's august it feels like it's about three degrees So I'm looking forward to a hot chockey and a bit of mash. <laughs> When you think of the Earth alone, drifting in space in a vast ocean of nothing, you have to see every blade of grass as a miracle. Every bit of life is an impossibility. guys at work told me to expect the worst but I didn't realise how irritating it would be because <laughs> it doesn't really hurt does it it's just like fucking annoying yeah it's like hair tickling your face so 
Another night in the very cosy tent. Wish me luck. I can't lie, it's really bloody comfortable. I think I'm actually going to sleep quite well. Just, just pray in the tent holes. Good night. Good morning. Day three. Day two of proper hiking. Slept awfully. The tent held up really well, despite the broken zip, but I feel like crap. I just started nodding off properly, and then my freaking phone went off with the alarm. So I need to remember to turn that off tomorrow. Let's go see what the day holds for us. We've had our breakfast and some grub, had coffee. We're gonna be optimistic and try and continue on our planned route. Just got to get our stuff packed away. Kind of typical, my zip broke in the night. Lewis's peg snapped in the night. Not peg, pole snapped in the night. Um, we probably pitched in the worst place. Relentless wind. Relentless wind. It was pretty scary. But yeah. And I reckon we're going to walk about 10 minutes down the trail and that bothy is going to be on our right. <laughs> you live and learn. Ooh. I'm on a journey now to find my lost lighter. Uh, oh. Been picking up litter and all sorts on the route, so I'd hate to leave a bloody lighter behind. Success! I will not be a litter bug in Scotland. Where am I going? So last night, Lewis successfully freaked us both the fuck out. We were basically, there's a bowl next to where we pitched our tents and we were using it as shelter to cook our food and stuff. And at one point, he and I both descended into it and he looked visibly, like just out of nowhere, he really looked shocked and a bit unsettled. So I asked him what was wrong and he said it was like there was this deep knocking in the earth and inside him from the mountains and, but only he could hear it and oddly enough just beyond Cairn Tool the next peak behind there is called the Devil's Point so let's hope they're not related I've got Ben McDo and the slopes on our left side. I can't remember the name of this bit. I don't know if you can see it on the camera as well. There's actually a tiny patch of snow just under where the clouds are looming on the mountain. And then this fantastic valley, Leri Gru. I don't know how you pronounce it again, I'm sorry. Should have done my research. Oh, yeah, the aim today. We've got to, we've got to smash a good portion of this walk today. Um, if we want to try and make the return journey. Our backup plan, well we've got two backup plans depending on how knackered we are by the time we reach Braemar because we have got a lot of stuff. Um, we're either going to get a taxi or a bus back to Aviemore and then just chill for a few days in the surrounding wilderness or if we're totally, well that's if we're totally knackered and then if we're not totally knackered our aim is going to be maybe to walk west instead of coming back this way 
and to a place called King Usi, or King Ozzy as I like to say, um, and get the train back to Aviemore because it's only about 12 minutes by the train, it's the next stop. But that's worst case scenario, so, or second worst. But yeah, I think it's about quarter to 11, maybe 11 now. And if we can smash a good portion of this valley today, I think we'll be fine. The walking's a lot easier today as well. Yesterday we had to pass over a big, big boulder field. It's about a mile long. Or just under perhaps, but <clears throat> certainly not easy. And I mean, water isn't an issue now, but at the start of the walk it was, so that was a bit booky. No, both in pretty high spirits today, I think. Still keeping our eyes peeled for this bothy at the minute. We haven't seen it yet. I'm pretty confident about my map reading skills, but I could be horrifically wrong. That's incredible. Yeah, it's got to push on. Hopefully, this bothy is somewhere soon. I'm going to use it use it as shelter, make boiling the water a bit quicker, because yesterday it was a nightmare. Although this looks nice, I must say. This must be the remains of something, surely? Or do you reckon it is just rock? Looks like it almost was cut into in like a brick pattern. I think it is just rock, isn't it? But that's insane. Ah, that is the Buffy. Oh. Right where you said you wanted to have lunch as well. There it is. Looks quite eerie. Oh, Just a single little cabin sat at, like, sat at the foot of all of this. It would have been cool to sleep there last night, I must say. Yeah. Maybe on the way back. We've just spotted a bridge on the horizon, so I'm gonna go for that, get across, and then check out Father Ted's cottage. Oh, it's a bit murky around here. This fucking way is a ton. Do you reckon anyone's home? Hey. Do you reckon anyone's home? Maybe, Not the spirits knocking for you last night? <laughs> Quite so spooky. Oh. Oh. 
biological hazard, it says. It does smell pretty bad. Let's do a compost and throw a look. Ah. Hello. As if. Playing cards. Free whiskey, I'm not trusting that. Is that a spliff? Someone's left a spliff Literally. and some pills. I mean, terrible person. Definitely, definitely genius. Um, spaghetti, holy shit, people are decent, man. Yeah. This proves there is a bit of hope left in humanity. <sighs> You are here. So, got a while to go. This is awesome. Some pictures of people staying here. We weren't planning on staying here, but I broke my two friends on the walk in. Thanks so much, Jack, Simon, Charlie. I wish I spoke Spanish. There's a couple of different languages. Not many people have bothered to uh, write in it there. I'm going to write a message. I was just about to put an entry in here. I saw James North Wales, little stop before the loop, then back for a kip, hopefully. So that was sometime today. The last entry is also, also today. But it's the Spanish one, so I can't read it. Gonna leave the confines of the bothy soon. But we met three nice lads and a woman, all headed to the same place we are, and they've promised us uh, a good night if we make it to the pub. So hopefully we'll catch them in a bit. <laughs> Jungle spray. I haven't, but there's some in my. There's a roll on one in my bag if you want to use it. And Lewis spotted this earlier. Oh, 0300 hours, we hear voices in the dark. Bell rock. I wonder if it's related to his, the knocking he heard. Back across the terrifying bridge. <laughs> 